Oh, dear, oh dear. Nearly tried to sideswipe me. <laughs> That's two in the space of like 10 seconds. Oh, I'm going to get myself run over today. I can see it. All right, so this is Bouchern. This is by Kazi, 81.16 megabyte on the download. And it says that fish rolls, tea and green dyke. Welcome to the Bouchern at the North Sea. Oh, very nice. So what are we talking about from a slot camp perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 837 slots. Now, if you come on here on Farm Manager, you're going to use 1,032. Now, obviously, a lot of that is down to the equipment. So if we go into this menu here, and under medium tractors, we've got the Massey Ferguson MF6716S and the John Deere 4755. Under harvesters, we've got the John Deere T560. Under trailers, we've got the Brantner TA230652 Power Tube Plus. And then we've got the Welger DK115. Under headers, we've got the John Deere 625X. Under plows, we've got the Agromaz POV5XL. Oh, two and a half meter. <laughs> I mean, two and a half meter, really. All right. Under disc harrows, we've got the Agromaz BTC50H. Under power harrows, we've got the Amazon KG3001 Super. Three meter. Shocking. Move on. Move on quick. Under cedars, we've got the Amazon Centea 3000 Super. Oh, again. Again, three meter. Dear, oh dear. Under fertilizer spreaders, we've got the Amazon ZATS3200. Under manure spreaders, we've got the Brantner TA12050 Power Spread Plus. Under slurry tanks, we've got the Shootin VT130 and the Shootin Spider SP6834. Under Grassland Care, we've got the Dalbo Maxi Roll 630 Green Line. Under mowers, we've got the Kuhn GMD8730FF and then the GMD3123F. Under tethers, we've got the Kuhn GF8712. We'll come down to wind rowers. We've got the Samaz Z2840H. Under forage wagons, we've got the Shootmaker Rapide 580V. Under balers, we've got the Kuhn VB3190. Under animals, we've got the Farsin PF2.24 Plus, and then the Pro Chop 150, and then the MKS8. Under front loaders, we've got the Quickie Q6M. Under front loader tools, we've got the Albert pallet fork and the Albert manure fork. Under head of trailers, we've got the Nardi N40BX. And then to finish it off, under weights, we've got the John Deere Pickup 900 and then the 10 Winkle Pack 750. So that's a fairly decent amount of equipment to be starting with, I must admit, which is all right. So what are we talking about from a map perspective? So this is your map and it's not that big to be fair. So if we zoom all the way out, like we normally would do so you've got all this extra space around in now i'd imagine that in some future projects that may get expanded but for now this is what we've got so if you come on new farmer you're going to own all these areas so we've got the main farm area with a bit of a grass pasture out there got a bit of grass pasture there field 10 field 6 and field 1. Now obviously that's pretty much most most of the map or half of the map owned anyway so if you want to come on here and buy a field, so you've got field four, that's 230 grand. You've got some grassland there, 82. You know, they're fairly decent prices, to be fair. And what about this bit up here? So that's 42 grand. There's a bit of grass, mind you, but all right. But if you did want to come on Farm Manager and start from scratch and buy the farm itself, that's going to cost you 303 grand, which is not that bad, to be fair. Now, what are we talking about from a shop perspective? So if we come down here, the good news is you can sell everything that you normally would do. Obviously, like seeds and diesel and um, herbicide and fertilizer. Yeah, you can't sell those. But everything else, there is a place to sell it. So normal stuff on the selling front, which is very nice. So we start the game right here. You started here on all three game modes. And this is right by the start farm. So we come up the drive a little bit. And just a quick note before we get actually into the tour. You do require some mods. You require the old farm package by DMI 20mm in Normandy. The EU factories by DMI 20mm in Normandy. And then the windmill by the lot. So obviously 
once we get to this house that's part of the package or one of them that's part of the old farm package yeah there's a few other buildings dotted around that you need them for uh, you should get the prompt anyway when you load the map in it should ask you to download those as well it did for me on xbox so oh, fair enough so main farm come around here got your sleep trigger here obviously sleep through the night now if you come on it um farm manager and start from scratch this building is here but the sleep trigger is not as soon as you buy the land the sleep trigger shows up fair enough so we'll come down here and we've got a pigsty so we'll click on that no nope, sorry chicken goop 360 chickens going in there although it's got 11 in already i haven't put them in they come standard that's all right so you've got your loading in point for your food there. And then you've got your egg pallet spawn point. I didn't even buy those chickens. That rooster as well. Got a rooster in. One rooster and, what, ten chickens. <laughs> Fair enough. That's all right. And then we'll spin back round here. We've got a cow barn. Again, I haven't put these cows in. So you take your milk out of that one. Then you come to your animal dialogue box. 120 in there will fit. I've already got 10. That's ace. Then we'll come in here like that. Open that door off. So we'll come all the way down here. Obviously load your feed into there and your straw. Then we'll come out of this door like that. Then we'll spin round. And you've got your manure heap there. You've got a slurry tank. Extension, silo, whatever you want to call it right there. I didn't buy those cows either. That is ace. Three animals. Fair enough. So then we'll come back round here. A bit of storage under there. We then got a buy in a bolt silo here. So this is going to do solid fertilizer. So that's got 4,000 litres in that tank already. Oh, that's all right. Two bunker silos. A bit more storage. And then you've got a main farm silo there. Load in, load out at the front. And down here, we've got two viable silos again. So one's got mineral feed in, and one's got seeds in. They take both, but not at the same time. So this is why this one's got seeds in, I believe. Is that one got seeds in? Click on that. Yeah, that one's got seeds in, and that one's got mineral feed in. But if you click on them, obviously you have got the option, but you can't put it in if it's already got the other one in. That's probably why there's two there. Fair enough. And we've got this building here, so open up that door like that. Come round here, we've got a workshop trigger. So just pull your vehicle in here, hit the spanner icon, jobs are good. And then we'll come out of this door, open that up like that. And then just up in between this shed and the cow barn, you've got a diesel tank. Already got 2,000 litres in as well, that's alright. Fair enough. If we've got two fat, that's going to be 25,000 litres in. That I'll hold. Oh, that's all right. And even the silos you've got on here, they've got a bit of extra on the go. That's very nice. Right. So we're going to come out of the main farm at the top, down this path a little. Because there's a little water area up the top. I mean, it's got the icon on the map. But there's no actual trigger here. So you just back it into this water here. Get yourself some free water. Oh, that's all right. Very nice. Right, so we're going to move on now. We're going to come up to this area because this is a secret area. I say secret. The building's are already there once you get around it, but from a map perspective. So we'll click on that and we'll buy that. So this is going to cost us 33, well, nearly 34 grand. Yes, we'll buy that. Got three production chains now. So we're going to go up there. So as you can imagine, these are going to be three greenhouses. So you load your water in there. Although I think maybe with a big trailer, you're going to struggle to get it in. So maybe the, the little one, the y y was it Joskin or Yoskin? I didn't pronounce that. Aquatrans, like 7,300. You should be able to back that in there, no problem. And obviously pallet spawn point there at the front on all those. Again, water in there. Again, water in there. All fairly nice. Ah, that's all right, that is. Right. We're now going to come over to another little secret section. So we'll click on those. We'll buy that 42 grand. Yes. And we'll buy that one 42 grand. Yes. And we've got some animals. So as you can imagine, these are going to be sheep. 
Oh, have they got sheep in them? That's ace. So, wool pallet spawn point there. Oh, look, he's come over to say hello. Morning, what you doing? Where are you running off to? I thought you'd come and say hello. Oh, right, whatever. Oh, food in there. Oh, there's another one now. Water in there. Obviously, animal dialogue box there. So that's got 10 in as well. Going to hold 100. Then we come up the other one. Pass all these cars. Like that. And then we've got food in there. Wall pallet spawn point there. Water in there. Animal dialogue box in there. 10 in that one. It's got 20 sheep already. That is ace. And you know what's really good? We come down here. It goes between the middle of the sheep pens. Up these steps. I think it's ace. Hot onto the water. I mean, you've got the breakers down there. That is nice. I mean, it's a nice look. You can't go any further, mind you. But that is a nice look. Breakers mean there's a pier further down. It's a couple of boats in the water. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Even like a, it's a water fountain. <laughs> oh, that is ace. Have a little drink when you're out and about. Right, we're going to move on. So we're going to come down to one of the main areas down here. So the first bit's going to be a production chain. So this is your spinnery. It's a pallet spawn point there. Load your stuff into there. And down to this side is your production chain menu. So that's going to cost you 60 grand. So we'll come out of there. Don't get stuck in a bush. Turn right down here. No, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So come back out. It's got a little bit of a village feel. Oh, afternoon. A little bit of a village feel down here. So Ah, there we go. So if you really wanted to, unlike new farm, um, farm manager will start from scratch, you could easily come down here and um, place a sleep trigger down. So we're going to turn right up here. And we'll come right again in here so first up you've got a buy point so this one should be for lime lime seed and fertilizer Ooh. we'll come over here you've got your workshop trigger so hit the spanner and then pull your vehicle into the hatch marking area and over here you got your debris crusher so load in the front or the top and over in the corner you've got your main shop menu yeah and then we'll come ah, ah, there again. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Nearly tried to sideswipe me. That's two in the space of, like, ten seconds. Oh, I'm going to get myself run over today. I can see it. It's going to be really bad. Right, so we'll come back up here. You've actually just gone past one. So, got the hatch marking area here. Or something which looks a bit random. So we'll click on the map. It's a South Point Shopping Street. It's just a South Point in the middle of the street. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Just. Ah, that's really. I mean, yeah, no problem. But it's just really random. Oh, just load, I know you have street markets and whatever. But it's just like in the middle of the street. There you are. Dear, oh dear. Right, so we come down here, and this is the pier. Well, that's as far as you can go. I mean, you can go a little bit further if you fly over in construction mode or whatever, but... Ah, I like that. We've got a little... Yeah. Very nice. Right. So we'll come down here. So this is going to be another production chain. So this is the windmill, the one by the lot. So you load your stuff in there. Then you click the spanner icon, 50 grand to buy. And we'll come around, if you don't get stuck there, it's your pallet spawn point. Fair enough. So we'll come back out of there. We want to go back down. No, we want to go this way. Spin around. That's it. Carry on around the dirt track. It's better. I mean, I do like this map, actually. It's nice and small, but it's got a bit of character to it. Do you like I mean it's like look you got a little swing in the back garden of that one there and you got a slide there oh, I think this is all right so so we come down here so in here we've got an animal dealer so obviously that's gonna send over to whatever animal pasture you 
using. And you've got the animal dealer sale point right there. Hmm. Now, whilst we're down here, there is another secret little hidden thing that you need to buy. So if we click on that, like that, 34 grand. Horses. Oh, <laughs> right. So if you're into your horses, obviously, you're right there. So you load your food in there. Water goes in there. And we've already got two horses in. Can I hold five? Very nice. I mean, all the animal pens on here already have animals in, which is great. Right. We're going to come over to this area here. So first up is the sow point. So your biomass heating plant. So load your stuff in there. Sow your wood icon there. And then we'll spin around because we've got BGA. Ooh. Very nice. So you've got your loading in of your slurry in there. You've got your loading in of your solid stuff there. And you click the production chain menu. 435 grand to buy. And then when you've finished all your processing, you take your digest date out of there. Fair enough. Not a problem. Right, we're going to end up going over there. So this is going to be this section. Right, first up, you've got the sale point. So this one is called wholesale. So you come up here. Obviously, load it into the grated area. Then we'll come around here. we got a grain mill by the looks of that one so we'll click on that yeah grain mill 96 grand pallet spawn point in the front there loading in point there for all your stuff do your grains and make your flour and we'll come around here and this one is a dairy so load your stuff in uh, pallet spawn point there load your stuff into there also while we're down here it looks like there's a building missing but it's not it's a little placeable area so this here, so if we click on the buyable ship section, they are 25 grand, buy that, place another production chain down. Oh, that's all right. Right, we're going to move up to the last area up here because this is another secret buyable area. So we'll click on that, we'll buy that, 223 grand. Yes, because we've now got some pigs, which is ace. So we'll come out of that. Obviously, you will click on that. Oh, there's none in this one. All the other pens had animals in when you bought them. This one didn't. All right, fair enough. 270 going in. Then you load your food into there. And we'll come down. And we've got your manure silo, bunker, pit, whatever you want to call it right there. We've got your slurry tank taken out point there. And we'll spin around and we'll come down this bit. Although, we should come down the ramp. We'll have a jump down. You've got a silo there. Load in a load out at the front. And here. So I'll put these. You've got a bit of storage. Yeah, nice little pig farm. Do you know what? That's alright that is. So if we go into it and have a little flyover. I like this map. It's nice and small. But it feels open. I do like it when you've got some decent sized fields. You've got some smaller ones as well. And you've got some animal pastures built in. And I do like them sheep on the edge there. Right by the dike. That is well nice. Oh, I like this map. Brilliant. Alright, so that's your map tour done for you. Drop it in the comments below. Are you going to smash out the fields? Are you going to do the animals? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.